Did you know you can sell print-on-demand candles right now? Isn't that amazing, especially if you're just starting out on something like Etsy, or maybe you're already making candles yourself and you're selling them at pop-ups, but you want a faster way to do that on something like Etsy? Well, today we're gonna make the label designs for these candles. I'm gonna show you the formatting. I'm gonna show you the basic information that goes on a candle label and exactly how to do it, export it, and put it in something like Printify. So first off, I wanna show you a few different label shapes and sizes. These are essentially stickers that you would put on the candle. So make sure you choose a size and a shape that works for your brand. There are some sites where you can order your own label shape like Sticker Mule or even Vista Print, but you might be selling print on demand labels with Printify where the labels are a defined shape and size. And that's what we're going to show you specifically in this tutorial. But let's go over a couple of these shapes and what they might be appropriate for. So first we have the tall rectangle, which is really good for being super creative because you have a lot of space to do whatever you want. Or if you need to include a lot of information, for example, we're not giving you any legal advice here, but there are certain things that need to be on a label for certain types of candles. So make sure you keep that in mind. Then there's a tall and narrow label design which is good for elegant kind of premium feeling brands most likely more minimal as well and then we also have the classic round circular format which is very recognizable very familiar and it can often fit just as much info as you would on a rectangle size and it might be slightly less expensive depending on which provider you go with so here we are in Kittle and we are gonna go with the predefined printify size so I'm gonna change this to inches and then I'm gonna type in 2.75 here in the width and then in the height I'm gonna go 3.5 now I'm leaving the DPI as 72 but we're gonna change that later in the export settings so the first First thing we're going to do is look in the elements panel for an illustration. I'm going to show you three different label designs that can fit within this rectangle. For the first one, I want to go with a scented candle that has a lily on it, but I didn't find one specifically I wanted in the image library, so I'm just going to use Kittle AI to do it. Now I'm going to go down to these vector styles and click on vintage drawing because I'm going for more of that vintage kind of elegant candle style. This is pretty common, I would say, for candles. And right off the bat, that one looks pretty awesome. So I'm pretty pleased with that of a lily. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do a grapefruit. So this is a scented candle with both grapefruit and with lily scents in it. So we're gonna let that do its thing. And then uh, we're gonna try a couple different ones. I'm not super happy with this specific render. Sometimes it takes you a couple times, but I do like this one the way that it came out. So again, with the AI, it's just gonna take you a couple of renders to get something you like. And now what we're gonna do is kind of create this pattern here in the background. I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger because they're just gonna be in the background. They don't have to be super big because we want the text to be the most legible thing on the label design. And then I'm gonna go over here, click on the background, and we're gonna change the color, okay? So we're gonna go for this kind of off red, muted orange looking color. That's kind of reminiscent of a grapefruit, I guess. And then we're gonna make the illustrations that same kind of bright muted color. And then what we're gonna do is find a badge shape to house all of our text. So if we go over here to ornate badge, we have a bunch of different badge styles like this one right here, which is a tall rectangle, for example. It's not gonna quite fit this one, but we also have some really cool circular ones. We also have some super vintage ornate ones where you could put text in, but I'm gonna go with this kind of square elaborate ornate frame here, and we're gonna work on the color. Now there, you have a couple different options. We could go with a bright white with dark text, or we could go over here and we could completely invert this to that same dark orange color, and then we can make all of the embellishing and the flourishing this kind of brighter white. And then we're gonna make the text white so that way it's a lot easier to read. So I'm happy with this. I'm gonna work on it just a little bit here in the background because I think uh, I want more of the leaves to come through in these illustrations. And then we can get started with our type. So for this one, since it's more of a vintage style, I'm gonna go for more of a vintage font. So up here in the typeface settings, if I type in vintage, it will show me all of the fonts that are vintage because they have tags all connected to them. So you could type in futuristic or whatever you want, but for this one, we're going vintage. And I'm gonna work just with Black River because I think I just want this all as one style, all caps like this. 
and it fits the overall vibe. It fits the ornate shape that I put here in the middle. So I'm going to go lily and grapefruit. That's going to be the biggest and foremost text you're going to read first right here in the middle. I'm putting it on two lines here because I want to make sure that it's super easy to read. If I put it all on one line, it might be a little bit too difficult to read. So uh, we want this to be the first thing that someone sees kind of like you know, maybe a thumbnail you see on YouTube or something on your phone that seems interesting that you're going to click. The same kind of rules apply when you're shopping and you see it either on Etsy or if you see it in a store. So let's go ahead and change the text to this bright white color. That's the same color that's in the framing. And then we'll just adjust this a little bit. I think 15 is probably a good size. Now, again, if I put it all on one line, now we have too much space on the top and right and it becomes lost. And then we won't really sh be sure what's the most important. So I want to make sure that's big right there in the middle of the frame. And then we can get started with our subsequent text. Now I'm just working with this one font for this entire design. So I'm not going to mix a bunch of different fonts together. I'm just going to use size to determine what is most important. So for this subsequent text down here, I'm going to put scented candle like that. And then I'm going to work on the sizing so that it's just secondary. It doesn't need to be super uh, it doesn't need to be super big or conflict with lily and grapefruit here. And then we're going to duplicate that same text and we're going to go outside of the badge frame for all of the kind of legal stuff that has to be on the candle. So for example, who makes the candle, what kind of candle it is. So soy wax candle. And then a neat way to see if it's in the center is to group your top and bottom text here. And to make sure it's completely in the center, I can just hit, hit this middle tab right here over here and it will immediately center it to the middle of the artboard which is nice and then to fill the space over here on the left and right I'm gonna put how much it weighs and how heavy it is so here I'm gonna put nine ounces and then over on the right side I'm gonna duplicate that text which you can do with alter option and dragging and I'm gonna put how many grams it is over here on the right and here you can see the full mocked up label that we made in Kittle hey real quick if you're getting value out of this candle label design let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and that red subscribe subscribe button because I don't want you to miss any upcoming tutorials and then let me know down in the comments are you selling candles now are you already selling candles or are you just starting a pre on demand business and selling candles I'm super curious to know I'm also super curious to know what issues you might have what pain points you have in the design side of things I'd love to help you with that so comment down below and let's get back to the tutorial. Let's do another one. So if we go over here, we're gonna use a pattern style to make a full pattern in the background using AI. So we're gonna go with a different scent here. We're gonna go for something with cinnamon, okay? So that's the kind of scent we want, cinnamon and vanilla. And it's gonna take us a couple times to get a image that we want, but I think this one looks really nice. Now I can right click and use it as the background. And then what we can do is use our photo editing features over here to make a really, really cool muted looking color. So I'm gonna set the background to another orangey color, very similar to how we did the first label. You can't see anything happening yet because it's the background, but after I change the blending mode of this image right here, if you see I put it on color burn or multiply or whatever it is, it creates a really cool kind of bleeding effect through. And then you can use the opacity slider here to make it as intense or as little of the effect as you want. And then we could just go through and select which one is going to work best for us because we're going to use the saturation slider and the contrast slider to get it where we want it. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of noise here. Let me zoom in for you right here. Now, if I add some noise, you can see that there's this slight grain effect to it, which I think is pretty cool. And it gives it that, again, super vintage vibe, which we're going for. Then similar to the first candle, we're going to put these ornate badges here in the middle. I'm going to group them together, which you can do, by the way, with Command or Control G. So now we have this circular shape and this horizontal shape kind of making one whole badge here in the center. And then we're going to use another vintage font for this for the candle scent, which is cinnamon vanilla. And then we're going to use this circle transformation for our secondary text. So we're going to put some text here up at the top and at the bottom. Of course, we're going to make it smaller because this text that's on the circle is not as important as the text that's in the middle. So for this one, I'm going to put that it is a soy wax candle. I'm going to put it right here, just like that. And a really neat thing about the circle transformation is if I copy and paste the text and hit direction inverted, boom, look at that. It just jumps.
jumps straight down to the other part of the circle just like that i didn't have to do any crazy editing or tweaking like you would in illustrator it just does it immediately for you so i put scented candle there we have soy wax candle up there and now what we're going to do is make a second line of curved text so you see how i just duplicated it which again you can do with command or control c and v and then all i have to do is decrease the size of the font right here put in your secondary text whatever it is that you want to do and that will be your second area of line text now you could fill that space with an ornament or something i'm just choosing to do it with more text but here is our completed second mock-up that we did with the cinnamon vanilla scent now let's make one more candle design. I'm gonna do the same thing with the vintage drawing in the AI category. And we're gonna go for a much more minimal effect. So we're gonna fill up the entire rectangle. We're not gonna use any badges or anything. We're just going to use type to define our hierarchy. So this first part right here, Garden of Roses, is gonna be all caps. And then everything else is gonna be lowercase. Then of course we're gonna put scented candle here in the middle and for this one, I would like to use a, a script font because I think that gives it, again, this more minimal, elegant style. So you can see here how we're making three different layouts, but we're also kind of conveying three different styles within the candle label space. So I think this one looks pretty good. And this one feels like it goes right here just above Garden of Roses like that. Of course, we wanna make sure our illustration of the rose is nice and big and easy to see, of course. And then after we have played with this, just to make sure everything feels pretty balanced, you can see what it looks like with some texture. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna put something like one of these paper textures on there because we wanna give it that kind of realistic kind of home cottage core vibe. So I think this one looks pretty good, but it's a little intense. So maybe we need to back off the opacity here and just find a space that looks feels pretty good to us. And then after we find one that we like, you can see the full mock-up right here. So that's another way that you can make a rectangle layout design for your candles. Let's go ahead and pull up Printify and you can see some of these candles up here. But this one right here, the tall rectangle is the one that we designed for. And so what we're gonna do is hit start designing right here, which is gonna pull up the place where you're gonna insert the image. Now, keep in mind, always make sure you do the actual print area. I think I was a little under for for this tutorial but if I drag this in here you can see we're really close 280 dpi is very high and you can see the height and width is just a little bit different so if you go here and you click up or down with your arrow keys you can see that the dpi changes depending on uh, how big or small you make it but again for the purposes of you seeing it uh, this is going to work so if I preview it now you can see what it looks like here on a mock-up just make sure you use the exact dimensions from Printify now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.